extreme cyclones, rising sea levels, untimely rains, the droughts, and then losing their homes and fields. There is hardly anything that Bangladeshi farmers are not accustomed to. And the situation is more likely to worsen with climate change. Aste aste, din da sobir ghonta bishti hoy, pilabi to hoy, amader aste aste ghere beri dube jai, shate shato mas silo, rui katol, chingri, egulo amader beshe jai, beshe jai, eto amra khub khoti grosto hoy. Shamar Kumar Hira is a subsistence farmer from Bagirhat district in South Bangladesh. In 2016, a heavy spell of rainfall damaged his paddy crops. খুব কষ্টে গেছে সে সময় রান্না বান্না করতে পারি নাই খাওয়া দাওয়া ঠিকমত করতে পারি নাই একবেলা রান্না করছি দুবেলা খাওয়া দাওয়া করছি দুবেলা খাওয়া দাওয়া করছি এইভাবে দিন অনাহারে গেছে as millions of farmers like Shomar and Orchana count their losses from one extreme weather event to another, climate change is taking a heavy toll on farmers' incomes and food security of Bangladesh. We see that, that agriculture is highly impacted by severe weather events. Very frequently farmers are, have lost income and become much more financially insecure and socially insecure, often requiring even migration to the cities part-time to find employment. Farmers affected through weather risks, such as floods and droughts, are forced to borrow money from informal sources, selling assets, cutting essential expenditures, and also having less and less to spend on their next crop. So what if these weather-related losses could be insured? and the farmers got paid for the loss of crop due to external factors. To achieve this, the International Finance Corporation devised a private sector-led solution. By working with Green Delta, IFC created a weather index-based insurance product. Launched in 2015 by the International Finance Corporation, IFC, in partnership with Green Delta, the weather index-based insurance is meant to pay farmers and agribusinesses for losses resulting from extreme weather events. This insurance works on a predetermined index, which marks the normal levels of weather parameters such as rainfall and temperature of a given location. The insurance is bundled with agricultural products like hybrid seeds and manure. While the farmers just have to pay a basic premium every month, farmers are paid insurance if this index falls above or below a pre-specified threshold, which simply means that farmers can be insured for excessive, low and unseasonal rainfall, as well as hot spells and cold spells. A data grid is used to monitor weather parameters and insurance claims. And as it does not require the services of any claim assessor, the settlement process is quicker and more objective. When crops have guaranteed insurance against erratic weather, it also gives banks and financing institutions the confidence to lend to small farmers. So we hope that these type of things would help in terms of increasing the agricultural lending to the farmers. And if the agricultural lending increases, then opportunity for agriculture insurance also sort of an in increases significantly. So we hope that insurance could become a sort of a quote unquote a collateral, a uh, form of a collateral which would basically enable the farmer to get access to credit. For IFC, developing this unique product for Bangladesh required rigorous and persistent work with several stakeholders starting from collecting historical weather data from the Bangladesh Met Department and Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics for the last 30 years, developing a gridded weather database with SkyMet, a weather forecasting agency, training Green Delta staff to manage and commercially launch the product. Coordinating with farmers and agribusiness companies to understand their insurance needs. And raising awareness about the weather insurance amongst banks, MFIs, 
and agribusiness companies. We have recently uh, settled one claim and uh, which was due to unseasonal rainfall and that actually you know uh, brings or uh, develops the confidence the trust for the insurance partner right for the farmers to see that okay the insurance companies are here to support and to secure their risks we have already trained 2000 uh, 250 agents how to sell insurance product how to convince that insurance is not a liability insurance is it's like securing your risks while convincing the poor farmers to avail any kind of insurance remains a key challenge IFC and Green Delta have made a good start by bringing on board agribusiness companies like Supreme Seed, which work with a large captive base of farmers. Last year in our project we have hailstorm in some um, blocks and there the yield reduction was about 25-30%. It is very difficult to predict whether uh, how climate change uh, will affect. So that's why we thought that in order to protect ourselves against very adverse calamities, maybe we can think of uh, some kind of crop insurance. On the other hand, with the help of another guiding tool from IFC called AgriCredit Tool, lending institutions can access the information from the weather data grid and together with a few other details like land type, soil type, irrigation and cropping intensity, assess the levels of risk to their lending portfolios and get information on the risk mitigation strategies. It basically takes into account the uh, irrigation condition, the soil condition, the climatic condition and the farming practices uh, and then models it uh, what is, uh, you know, how risky is growing uh, rice in that particular village. We hope that tools like these uh, could then basically help in mitigating uh, the risks or the risk apprehension uh, that the uh, loan officers or the banks are currently having and try to take a more informed decision. Two thirds of the population in Bangladesh earns its living from agriculture. It is too important a sector to be left unprotected by the risks of climate change. Millions of farmers who ensure the food security of Bangladesh deserve the right to live on the land where they were born and practice their age-old profession with dignity.